and happy Sun in Virgo transit. The Sun is now in Virgo until the 22nd of September and as it's my favourite transit of the year, it's the transit of my birthday, it's the transit that contains International Peace Day, it's the transit that contains the birthdays of the two most important people in my life and um, it's a really special time of the year. Also, Virgo is the sign of planetary service and healing, so it feels like a great time to be giving something. So, I am offering until the end of September uh, the opportunity for you to have an hour reading with me. That's a 60-minute reading for the price of a 30-minute reading. So, if you book a 30-minute reading, I'm going to offer these two choices. Either you can have a 60-minute reading or you can have a 30 minute reading followed by a 30 minute sort of mini tuition mentoring session. So either way you get to have 60 minutes of guidance, intuitive guidance, um, or intuitive guidance and teaching and possibly a bit of healing as well. So go and have a look at the blog by clicking on the link below this video. Hope you enjoy it. Hope to speak to you soon. Happy September, happy Sun in Virgo transit, happy Peace Day and um, yeah once again happy birthday Virgos. Alright, enjoy. Okay, daily angel hug for Thursday the 30th of August, so we're racing towards the end of the month here. I'm um, just going to have a quick shuffle and then pick a card for Thursday. Uh, it's getting close to Friday as well, so that's going to make a lot of people really happy. And we've got creative writing. How gorgeous. One of my favourite cards. So, and it's Archangel Gabriel saying, make time to write down your thoughts in a journal or open an article or book. Or, sorry, pen an article or book. I need my glasses. <laughs> right, so. So this is something that's there for everyone. People often see this card and they think, oh, I'm not a writer. Why has that come up? But writing is very, very therapeutic. And um, I'm also being told that people need to be reminded to write things down in their diaries or in appointment books because as things are speeding up, it's going to be a little bit harder to hold on to thoughts and you might feel as if you're losing your memory and um, you might want to jot things down that you feel are important to remember, although we're always being told to stay present, stay in the now and anything that's really important will come back to you. It will just be there as a resonance. It won't leave you. So the important ideas, you know, you will not lose them. However, I'm just being told to say, just to mention quickly, that if you are a very organised person and you are a compulsive list maker and you like to know, you know, what's going on, I suggest that you get a diary that you can write down your your appointments and your things that you want to remember and even bits of shopping lists and things like that for the time being until you transition into a place where you can call anything to mind um, at will. So that's one thing but on the, the, main, the most important point about this card is how therapeutic writing can be. So journal, write down your feelings, maybe start doing that at the beginning of the day in order to prepare you to focus on what your objectives are, what you're, what you're hoping to manifest, the sort of day that you're intending to have maybe, um, or at the end of the evening to process the things that you've experienced. And I always... Um, I always include journaling in my teaching, so my students are always journaling their experiences when they meditate and connect with their guides, because it's great to have something to look back on as well. And with such an incredible acceleration in our awakening at the moment, it's really nice to to have a little bit of a log of your journeys, of your physical journeys, your geographical journeys a lot of people are experiencing, and also your journeys through consciousness. Because when you look back at those, you'll see how far you've come and how you got there, and that can be really useful. They might even, you know, become a book, who knows? So I would just say, uh, enjoy writing for the joy of it, for the creativity of it, as a therapeutic tool as well. And also make notes of things that are important to you right now in your journey, because the process of writing them down can also help you to process what's happening to you as a spiritual journey awakening, a spiritual being awakening. Okay, so enjoy that. Speak to you tomorrow. Bye.